Are you looking for Apple's pro suite of software, including like Final Cut, Logic, and all the other pro things that Apple offers? Well, guess what? A lot of people actually end up overpaying for it because they don't know about this cool trick that I'm about to show you. So because today it just randomly happens to be my birthday, I'm actually going to purchase the full pro suite of applications that Apple offers for the Mac. And it's because this entire time, I've literally been using the Final Cut Pro trial. Ever since I downloaded Final Cut, I've actually downloaded downloaded the trial version and it works pretty much just like the actual version of Final Cut Pro, even though I haven't actually tried the actual version of Final Cut Pro. But the trial is basically, well, Final Cut Pro dumbed down to its basics. Like there's some content that's missing, but it does give you enough of the basics that Final Cut Pro has to offer. But there's other pro software that Apple offers like Logic Pro, Motion, Main Stage, even though I don't know how to use that, nor do I know what to do with Compressor, though, I mean, it should be obvious what I could do with Compressor. The point is, there's a lot of pro software, and a lot of people actually end up overpaying for it. They actually buy all the apps individually. But in today's tips and tricks, I'm going to show you how to buy it all in one package. So here we go. As we can see, if we open up our handy Safari window and go directly to apple.com, because uh, no, if you purchase from the app store, this is where you're literally not gonna find the option at all. Here's what you gotta do. You gotta scroll all the way to the bottom of the web page here, down to shop for college. Now you get to this page where you get to basically their education store, where you can get some discounts on Macs and such, though there is a catch to this discount. It only allows you to buy one of each product category at a time. Like for example, you want a MacBook? I hope you're satisfied with Mac MacBook you get because that is literally the only time for the year you're actually going to get a MacBook for a discounted price. So you better pick wisely. Same goes for a desktop Mac or an iPad as well. They offer discounts on iPads. So there's another tip and trick. Just remember, you can only buy one for the year and it's not one iPad Pro, one iPad Air. It's only one iPad. That's it. But anyway, we're not shopping for hardware devices. We're all looking for the software package. So, ooh, look at this. Five amazing apps, one powerful collection. This is the education bundle that Apple likes to call it. And this is exactly how we will be buying all of these different softwares. If I can actually remember correctly, this is $300 Final Cut Pro. This is $50 Motion, 20 bucks Compressor. Oh yeah, that's Logic Pro. So that will be $200. And Main Stage is $30 if I recall. Collectively, it's all around like $600 or so. That's if you buy them one at a time, which is how most people actually end up doing it because not many people know about this trick, but you can get them all bundled together in the education store for $200, $200, that is the same price of Logic Pro by itself. So you can basically purchase Logic Pro and everything else for $200 if you go for this bundle. So of course, we are totally going to go for it. So it's going to redirect us to this and supposedly there's a few oddities about this. First of all, uh, duh, we are of course checking out with Apple Pay. It's including the whole, hold on, what's this? Okay, this is weird because this is a software package. Like how do you have it delivered? There's a pickup. Okay, yeah, your order is only eligible for delivery, duh, because how are you supposed to pick up software? It's an abstract thing. But anywho, uh, let me see. Ooh, wait, one to three business days by email? What? You have got to be kidding me. So I, today's my birthday and I was going to buy myself the whole suite of Apple Pro software and yet they're going to hold it from me for another day. Ugh whatever. Yeah, we got basically this screen right here. Uh, we're going to click the terms and conditions as the education store terms and conditions. I've already gone through this before. So yeah, uh, that works. And now we're going to continue to Apple Pay because that is how you're going to buy it. Oh, don't mind my card details. What? What's with the... Did it really forget my phone number or something? Because this is not right. Uh, let me see. Okay. Double click touch ID to pay. Oh, that's odd. It just randomly decided to forget my phone number. That's the first because... It... Oh, well. Anywho, uh, double click to touch ID to pay because I got a MacBook Pro. I can use touch ID. Hello. This is literally not responding now. Okay. Let's try Apple Pay again. See if that makes a difference. Check out with op Apple Pay. Put on my fingerprint. This is weird. Is Apple Pay broken? There we go. It won't accept my fingerprint. That sucks. This is so weird. Why is it not accepting my fingerprint? Touch ID. Um, Apple Pay. Yeah, it's supposed to work with that. So what's the deal? Yeah, it won't accept my fingerprint. That's odd. Okay. Well, let's do my password. That is so weird. Why did touch ID stop working? Oh, well. 
well, processed. So supposedly now uh, I'm going to get an email. Um, I don't know why it takes one to three days to send an email, but uh, okay, that's odd. So I guess, I mean, let's check my inbox so far, see if I get anything actually. Okay, so it says, thank you for your order. We'll let you know when the items are on their way. This is literally a software package. Like just let me download it. What's the issue here? Oh, well, uh, it's got my billing info and such. So I guess, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a fun time censoring this, but hey, now that I got Final Cut Pro, censoring things is gonna be a heck of a lot easier. Yeah, I guess we wait for tomorrow to see what happens. That sucks. All right, it is officially the next day. So uh, let's check my email and see if we got an email from Apple because I'm still waiting on that. All right, so let's uh, quickly open up my email and such. And oh, what do you know? We got uh, the new email that they said they'd send me. So all right, let's see what we get here. So basically uh, it's talking about a PDF document sent in another email with a, okay, there's the name of it, uh, and a password. I guess it's encrypted. So uh, I guess if that's password needed, I might as well copy it right now. Basically, Basically, uh, to redeem software, your authorized end users will need an Apple ID obtained through, yep, okay, the App Store and such. To install software, simply launch the Mac App Store, click redeem, found under quick links, and enter content and codes, okay? If you have questions regarding redemption or installation of your software from the Mac App Store, visit such and such, okay? Should you lose the require, here, please contact Apple, okay. All right, so basically more legal jumble jumble and such. So uh, here's the second email that they sent me. And it looks like uh, we got a PDF here we got to open up. So uh, password, so that's what I just copied. Let's paste that into there. And looks like, okay, it's a license agreement slash invoice thing. Okay, so let me see. Uh, product, uh, we got Final Cut Motion, Compressor, Logic, Main Stage. Yep, that's all here. Uh, single unit, meaning I can probably only redeem this for one Mac at a time. I'm not entirely sure if it's account specific or Mac computer specific, who knows. Uh, let me see. Thank you for your Apple software purchase. Apple software is now available on the Mac app store or such and such, yeah, a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. To redeem your software, this is the important part, you or your authorized end users, okay, will need an Apple ID obtained through the Mac App Store. A okay, uh, yep, I get that. You and your authorized users agree to contents and such and such, yeah, legal jumble jumble and such. Uh, code terms and conditions are on this page here and such, yeah, um, nobody reads those anyway, so, okay. I guess what we gotta do now is uh, open the App Store. We're going to see... Okay, there's a redeem thing they mentioned. Uh, so let me see. Bear with me. There's not really anything specific about this. Yes, sign me in, please. Oh, this is to redeem gift cards. So that's not going to work. Okay. Okay, it tells me that I need to redeem the software in the Mac App Store. Okay. I'm here in the Mac App Store. So do I just... Let me see. Final Cut Pro. Let me see what we have here. Okay, so here's the actual software. Let me see. Are there more options? There's the license agreement but where do I redeem okay this is something that they're not doing a good job specifying I'm trying to figure out how do I redeem these codes all right uh, there's a link here in the PDF so let's see if that'll take me to anything useful all right here we go uh, iTunes and App Store support okay yeah um, that's not helpful yeah that's not helpful Apple uh, I don't know what you're thinking okay well let's open this back up see okay does this take me to anywhere useful um, okay uh, here's Apple support um, wow how do I redeem this code? They should have provided clearer instructions on how to redeem this code because right now I cannot figure it out. Uh, let me see. Are there more things at the bottom? Okay, this is getting annoying. Okay, so we have the app store open here, but where do I redeem a code? Do I just hit this? No, I don't want to purchase it like that. Let's see, license agreement, such and such. Okay, this is not useful. Ooh, that is a terrible refresh rate for ProMotion. Okay, yeah, that's full of mumble jumble. We're not gonna have anything useful from that. Come on, how the heck do you redeem this code? I guess we're gonna Google it because clearly uh, they're not gonna tell me how to redeem this code. How to redeem Apple Pro software code because they are clearly not telling me. Yes, please. I'd like to know because this is not helpful. All right, here we go. Redeem App Store. So do I literally just open up that uh, redeem gift card thing? All right, well, let's try it out. Uh, first code I need is, um, okay, this is the final cut one. Most important for me. So let's try this. Um, oops, uh, redeem. Let's see if this does anything. Huh, it's supposedly now download 
downloading. Oh yeah, Launchpad here showing me it's downloading something. Okay, there's the actual Final Cut Pro. As you can see, I got the Final Cut Pro trial. That's what I've been using for the past month or so. But now I'm downloading what looks to be the real Final Cut. It's not showing me at the moment, but okay. Well, we've got that. Can we redeem more codes? Let's do that. Uh, so let's copy this one. This is Motion, uh, redeem another. So, okay, now it's downloading the next one. I'm going to give this some time to actually download. I guess by the time I click to the next one, all these apps should be downloaded. Well, would you look at that? All of my applications are downloaded. We got Final Cut here, Logic, Motion, Main Stage. Everything is downloaded. I don't know if you noticed the date in the bottom here, but it's definitely not the same as the previous one. Uh, yeah, that means I've actually been playing around with some of these, and I've discovered I got a lot to learn about Motion specifically. But um, Final Cut, I've been using the trial already, so it makes a lot of sense right now. Logic Pro is extremely similar to GarageBand. I did not expect it to be as similar as it was, but yeah, pretty similar to GarageBand. Band, so I quickly got used to that. Though I have to figure out how to use motion because I've never really played around with animation and motion graphics like that before, so I guess I gotta figure out how that works. And main stage, I've yet to figure out how to use that because I don't do live performances. I just don't. And then compressor, I guess it'll be a handy tool if for whatever reason I need to compress a file. But yeah, that's the entire suite of Pro software from Apple for a much cheaper price than if you bought all the apps individually. So there we go. So I guess that's how we're going to conclude today's video. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor and interact with the stuff below. My name is Alpha the Wolf, Random Alpha, signing out.